just completed stitching together the tops of our two rectangles and now you'll take this and drape it over the center dowel that we attached and let's see if I can get a good view on this um, we're just going to take the stitches and we're just going to wrap them over the top of these two dowels that are sticking out of the top and that's just going to hold it in place while we stretch it and try and shape it and we're going to adjust the dowels as needed. So let's find that center seam and let's just poke through those holes. Now we'll turn it to one side and I'm going to show you um, just poke the holes of the stitches through the dowels so just like that just to kind of hold it in place down at the bottom do it again on this side you can see how it's starting to stretch into shape um, it's a little high I'm having to stretch it a little too much so you're just going to push down and adjust your tops to make them shorter like so stretching, checking. You can also adjust it this way by pushing in or pushing out, adjusting to the width that you need. So this looks still a little high. Push down on that. Let's check the other side and let's put the uh, stitches or the holes around the dowels at the bottom, stretching the, this side into shape. And as you can see, we're stretching a bit more on this side, so let's go ahead and push down. This is why it's good to use the rubber bands, because if you use the twine, you would not have this flexibility. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Continue adjusting in that manner until you're happy with the shape of the sides. Oops, that's a little much. Now I can see that I'm going to want to trim my dowels off because they're a little long. So that's looking pretty good to me. Just keep playing with it until you're happy. Now we're going to put our back panel on and just choose one of your ends and take the top of the triangle and wrap it around the two top dowels. We have to kind of stretch it into shape. And then we're going to wrap it around the bottom two dowels as well, just like we did the sides, stretching it, forming it wrapping it around the base and then you can stitch this into place directly on your frame and you're just going to take your yarn needle and coordinating yarn and we're just going to stitch this together just like we did this top seam and there's like I said no mistakes you're really just wanting to attach these two sides together you can do it like you do granny squares it really doesn't matter so just start I'm going to tie a knot to start
So now the next step is to grab it. We're going to stitch our front panel on. So you're just going to put that top loop of the triangle around the posts at the top. Stretching this into shape. And we're going to attach, let's go ahead and sew this edge together, just like we did the back panels. So let's do that next. And then I'll show you how we're going to attach this to the posts or the dowels. So let's address how we're going to wrap this around the post on this front edge. I've still got my yarn needle attached. I just finished stitching the last stitch in the top of this uh, front triangle. And I think I'm just going to stretch it and wrap it around and take my yarn and wrap it around the post like so and just going through and kind of attaching it that way, going all the way, like whip stitching it around. Thank you.